What is up? What is happening, YouTube? It's your boy Aaron out here with another new shoe review. Right now, I have the Doc Martens 1460 in the monochromatic colorway. Anyway, guys, let's just start off with the box right here. It is a plain brown box. It says Dr. Airwear Martens um, with the bouncing soles. Pretty simple box, nothing too special. Um, Doc Martens on the side there, nothing on the bottom, some writing on the side there. Pretty simple. I got these in the size US 9. If you are in between sizes, I recommend sizing down to your nearest size. And if you are a full size, I recommend sizing down to one full size. So if you're like a US 9, I recommend sizing down to US 8. And if you're like a 8.5, size down to an 8 as well. Um, I'm usually a size 9.5, usually. I got these in the size US 9, and these fit really, really well. Anyway, let's go and open up the box. First thing you see when you open up the box is this little foam um, padding right here and then you have these like little paper wraps for the shoes um, they were wrapped up a whole lot better beforehand but I have taken these out in the past and I couldn't be bothered putting them back quite as nice as they were beforehand but there's just like little paper covering both the shoes and it just says Dr. Martens with like a little cross on them pretty simple if you take them out of the plastic right there out of the paper you have the boots themselves I'm going to do that for both the shoes real quick. And then just on the bottom of the box right here, you have two little footprints, which are actually the same look as what um, the bottom of the soles are. It's a little thing that Doc Martin did. I'm not sure if that's like with all the boxes, because these are my first pair of like Doc Martens. So these boots are absolutely beautiful for the price that I paid for them. I think I got them for around $200. Um, shop around, you can always find a good price from Doc Martens or any shoe really, just like Make sure you shop around at different stores and you can find these for a decent price. I think in Australia these go for like $2.50, I found them over in America and to get them shipped to Australia it was like $2.20 or something in total, so I saved like 30 bucks for them. Nothing too crazy, but um, shop around if you're looking for a good deal. Um, these are the monochromatic colorway. So the first thing you can see with these Doc Martens, which is different to the other Dr. Martens out there, is that the heel tab right here is all black, the stitching is all black, and the sole is all black. Um, I'm really happy I got the monochromatic colorway. I think it just looks a whole lot better in my opinion just because I'm not a huge fan of that yellow stitching or the yellow writing on the heel tab. I kind of like like the gum bottom of normal Doc Martens but I'm willing to just have the black sole. Considering all I'm losing is that like little bit of the gum sole for like black stitching and just an all black shoe which I think looks so much cleaner than like the yellow stitching. In my opinion anyway. But besides the fact that these shoes are blacked out, these are exactly the same as any other Doc Martens. On the heel tab, it does still say Airwear with the bouncing soles, just like any other Doc Martens. The only difference is that the heel tab is in black on black, and the stitching is all black. Besides that, they are like any other pair of Doc Martens. Really nice, the leather quality is alright, nothing too crazy, but Doc Martens are meant to be used, meant to be beaten up. So personally, I'm not looking for like a super high quality leather in terms of like softness, as long as it's tough enough to like, you know, withstand anything that you're going to be beating these up through. As far as how comfortable these shoes are, these are actually pretty comfortable considering these aren't sneakers. That's because the Doc Martens do have the um, special soles, um, which make them pretty comfortable in my opinion. As you guys probably know, I'm used to wearing sneakers all the time and these are my first pair of boots so these are a little heavy for me. Um, but it's something I've got to get used to. These are still really nice and once these break in, these are going to be like even more comfortable. Um, as far as the look goes, it's just got the all leather there, some stitching, um, some more stitching, I don't really know what else to say. Um, it has the eight eyelets right here, the nice thick um, laces, which I might actually switch out to some nice leather laces in the future, like some thinner ones, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, I've got to stick with these for now. The tongue goes all the way up to the top and doesn't slip around um, because the tongue is actually like connected to the shoe right up to like the fourth eyelet right here so you actually have to slip your shoe in like slip your foot in through there and everything like below this length right here is like all leather and like all covers like I guess you could step through like mud or water or whatever and these won't get wrecked and you won't get like wet socks or whatever um yeah as far as the insole goes and the inside of these shoes look like I'm not actually too sure because I haven't actually had a look so I'll have a look right now. So on the inside of the shoe it is all black and then just on the bottom you can see Dr. Martens written just on the insole right here which I probably won't even be able to pick up with the camera and then just on the toe area right here it's actually not black it's like a normal like raw leather kind of color. Um, these are really comfortable really nice shoes and yeah right now I'm just gonna go and show you this little 
tab which came with the other shoe. It's still attached, I haven't taken this off yet. It's just on the little tag right here, it says smooth leather. If there is one leather that epitomizes Dr. Martin's footwear, it's our classic smooth leather. Durable and famously stiff to start with, it molds to your feet and gets more comfortable with wear. Smooth leather can be polished to a dapper shine or artfully scuffed up depending on your preference. So that basically says that these leather, it's pretty tough. Um, you can shine them up, make them look all nice like dressy or beat them up like what I'm going to do and either way they'll look good. Anyway guys, that's what I have to say. Subscribe for new videos coming out soon. There's going to be an on-foot look at the end of this video. My battery is running flat so that's why I'm like hurrying up. I'll see you guys later. Peace.